everyone. I'm just popping on today to do a quick video. Um, a couple of weeks ago now, I got these De La Rone FW Pearlescent Liquid Acrylics. Um, this one's silver. And I have the magenta. And I have not had time to test these out at all. So this is the first time I'm going to be having a look at them with you. Um, I've picked this page from Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Mermaid's Book. Um, I thought I could try the silver and the whale and then we can try the magenta on the mermaid's tail. So we're just going to use a brush. I've already, as you can see, put some of the magenta on this palette because the pipette on it. Nick, I'll show you. Um, I've screwed it back on. If I do it with one end. The pipette on it is broken. That's the only downside to this one. So I've had to struggle, really struggle to get that to come out, to be honest. But it shouldn't be like that. Um, the silver one is fine. So I'm going to go ahead first and try this out for you. On the mermaid's tail. So give it a go. See what, oh look at that. Can you see? Sorry, he wasn't in the frame very well then, was she? And this book should be fine. Um, I've had no issues in this Jasmine book with um, using watercolour or anything like that. It's really good paper. It's really took it well. I'm sorry if we do go out of focus or some things. I'm only just getting to grips with um, YouTube. I've only done a couple of videos so far. And so I'm still doing it on my phone. At the minute. That is re looking really sparkly though. And the good thing about these is that you can mix them. Um. You can mix them together or you can mix them with other paints. You can mix them with your, your own watercolours. Um, so you can create your own shades or you can just add this sparkle to your paints that don't have that. Has anybody um, purchased anything that they've never tried before that that they're going to try out? I know I got the Neo Colour 2s a couple of weeks ago, so I've been practising with them and I'm really enjoying them. So if you've got an, any new products, what you're really enjoying, just drop me a comment and let me know. I'm always looking um, to try new things out. That's what I watch a lot of hauls for to see what people are buying to see what's what's the craze out there what I like what I don't like well yeah oops gone out of the lines a bit here it's not the best brush for this I needed to whack my fine detail brushes out for this little bit. But yeah, it's really nice to paint with this actually. It is going on smooth. I mean, if I had more time and I didn't have to hold my phone at the same time, then I'd be able to do this a lot neater. But you get the gist and I will hold it up to the light better in a moment and let you have a look. But they really are going on nice. I have seen one video of somebody using these. Um, done lots of different effects with the backgrounds with them. That look quite nice as well. Yeah, quite versatile. It's 
So it looks like I'm going to end up with another whip here, doesn't it? <laughs> While I'm testing these out. I wasn't going to start another page. I've just started um, one of my Mariola Budex on Tantone paper. And oh, I was having a mer with it last night. And my friend was having the same issue. <laughs> I don't know if it's just um, because the because it's eco paper and it, w it wasn't blending um, properly. I have no clue. It might just be my lack of skill, you know. <laughs> <sighs> so if if anyone's got their Mariola's set of art on Tantone paper and has done an image in them, um, if you've got any tips, tips for me, comment below. It's appreciated. Um, I don't know if you have me on Instagram. I'm the same name as on here. So I'm Colouring K on Instagram. And you'll be able to see my Mariola whip on there. So you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Well, maybe not on, not, maybe not on the picture I've put on Instagram. Because I made sure it, was a, um, it wasn't a close-up. So you couldn't see just how bad it was. But... No, I did. I did. Um, I did comment on how it didn't look as bad from afar. But yeah, I don't know. The, I put I put the highlights down. I put the white pencil down first, and it just wasn't blending. It was just it. It just looked really bitter, if you know what I mean. Uh, this is really nice, though. This. Acrylic, liquid acrylic. I mean, if I had more time, you know, I'd get rid of all these patches. Wouldn't that have these patches? But it's, this is just for the purpose of the video, just so you can see the sort of shine and everything. That my words aren't coming out today. Either. I'm so tired. I think I'm just permanently tired at the minute I've got a three-year-old and a two-year-old and they're both at the terrible two stage at the same time oh horrendous right oh look at that you see how nice is that that is lovely so yeah if you've only just popped um onto my um channel and you're enjoying watching my videos please do subscribe your support is very much appreciated i'm gonna test this one out now this is the silver so i will show you how the pipette works on this one because obviously my other one was broken so you just drop it on obviously you can use it alone like i said or you can mix them with other paints my brush off I might yeah I'll get my thicker brush actually because it's quite a big area that well isn't it I'm only going to do a bit of the top part probably you know none of the lines here I'll probably just do the top part just to show you and then I can lift the colour up again yeah oh this one's quite um I don't know if I've shook that up enough can you see it's quite washed out? Let me try and shake it up and try again. I think it's because I've been doing the pink first and it's been sat on the side. That's what happens. You see all the pigment. Um, it rests at the bottom. So you do have to make sure that... Probably just wasted some of that paint now. Alright, let's try again. It might just be this colour, I don't know. No, there we go. That's a bit better. It is still quite washy. Maybe it'll look different when I hold it up. It does look quite washed out, this one. It doesn't look as nice as the magenta, does it? Maybe this one would be better if you did mix it with some other paint. Um, I think you can actually mix this with watercolour or acrylic paint. Um... So I might give that a go, yeah, it's not laying down very well, this one. It's not going down very well. 
I'm just slapping it on now. There's no neatness to this right now. I'm just doing it purely as a testing page. Whether I can rescue it later with some pencils, maybe, maybe not. I don't know why pencils work over the top of this. That will be something else that I can test out. Because I don't know. So what's everyone working on at the moment? What books have you recently purchased? Drop me a comment below. Let me know what whips you're doing. Like I say, I've got the Mariola. Oh, that was a bit dodgy. Um, I've got the Mariola whip on the go at the minute. What was the one I'd done before that? Oh, I'd done the Mystic Art Mirrors Zodiac Girl and I'd followed um, Colour with Claire's tutorial on the Crab Claws. Um, I don't know if she put the pencils. I don't know if she used polychromos or prismas but I don't have those pencils so I had to convert them to my artesas. I managed to find similar shades and it was it turned out gorgeous. It's got a quite quite a bit lumpy this now I don't think it's mixed up very well. I don't like that. I don't like those bits in it. What's going on? Yeah, so I finished the Zodiac Girls one. I didn't put the finished one. I put the whip on my um, Instagram, but I didn't put the finished one on because I am going to do a YouTube video of February's finished pages. Is it next week? No, have we only got a week left? If that, no, four days, is it? And then, it's, and then we're in March. So yeah, I'm going to save that for my YouTube video so if you subscribe to my channel that will be going up soon February's completed pages I'm not sure if I've done as many this month as last month we'll have to see maybe I've just laid them away and forgot I've done them we'll see I don't think I'm liking this as much as the magenta one. It just doesn't seem to be going on nice. It's very patchy. Whether that's because it's a big, such a big area, whether it'd be better being mixed in with an acrylic. Maybe, maybe. We're learning together. <laughs> We're learning together, guys. Like I said, this is not neat. I'm not doing anything special yet. I'm literally just using it as a testing page so I can lift it up and show you what it looks like in a second. Or maybe it just needs going over with a second coat or something like that. But it's quite, it's like the pigment's not mixed in properly here. What's... I'm not really liking this colour at the minute. Whether it'll look better when I lift it up in a second. Who knows? You'll have to be the judge of that. To comment below what you think of the colours. Go over that. Oh, the sun's shining right through my window now. Right in my eyes. Cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I hope everyone's well anyway. If you are watching this video and you have your own um, YouTube ch channel that you post videos to or stream and you think I'd be interested, um. Just let me know below and I'll follow you. I'll subscribe to your channel. I am watching quite a few now and I'm really enjoying it. You know, I think it's better than watching telly these days. There's not, 
not that much that interests me anymore on the telly, to be honest. Not that much at all. So I just like sitting down at night now and watching people stream. You get to meet nice people. It's nice to have a chat. Have a chat and a brew. And inspire each other. Right, so that's the silver. Let me try and... Oh, now I've picked that up. That actually looks stunning. Oh my word, look at that. Now that did not look like that when the book was flat, flat down. That did not look anything like that. That is gorgeous. Because you could go over to the top. Um, I mean, I've not tested it out yet. I'll try that on another on another video actually. I'll try and see if it'll if if it'll let you go over with pencils. I know some things you can't really go over with pencil, but I will try. And I'll let you know. Look at that. So the mermaid tails the magenta and the whale is it a whale? Oh it'll tell you there, see. Yeah, big blue whale tells you all about it that makes it easier for me <laughs> but yeah that is nice and the paper's gone a bit but I think once it flattens out it'll be fine it's just because it's got a curve on that part of the book but we'll flatten it down once it's dry yeah so if you're planning on getting any of them or if you've if you've already got these let me know how you use them um, like I say, I've only seen one video of somebody with these, um, but she did do some gorgeous backgrounds with them and she mixed them with white acrylic paint. Um, so I might try that, do some nice backgrounds, some effects. But yeah, that's the silver and that's the magenta. Yeah, let me know what you think and if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.